You know what I was thinking about a lot for no reason? Remember the Prima guide for Moron Combat 9? I have the limited edition hardback sealed copy of that guide. That guide is the greatest, truly the greatest player's guide in the history of all Thank video you. games. That shit is incredible. It's so fucking crazy shitty. What about that review? There was a review by this British guy where the guy is reviewing it and in the review of it, he makes all these funny jokes and then at the end, he sets it on fire and then steps on it. It was sick. It was so sick. Uh, it was so sick. Sector's anti-air? That's not Sector, it's Cyrax, scrub. He, it says, first of all, the layout of the guide is like really offensive. Basically, there are gigantic screenshots. So a screenshot is totally worthless. It's a huge screenshot. So imagine Ryu throwing a fireball, right? This is a page about your moves. It's supposed to give you strategies and explanations, maybe frame data, maybe <laughs> something, Thank right? You. This page, it says Ryu's fireball, Hadouken, whatever. Three enormous pictures of Ryu charging the fireball, shooting the fireball, the fireball coming out of his hands. First of all, I'm painting you the picture right now by explaining it to you. So that's what you see when you open the page. Then on the description of this move, this movie is talking about, <coughs> it's a move for Cyrax and it's called anti-air, right? So it says anti-air. It shows three pictures of the move, right? And in the description, it says, much like the move name suggests, this move is a great anti-air. That is what it says in the fucking guide that you bought Thank you. to teach you how to play <laughs> at an advanced level more on combat. I'm about to lose my fucking hand because of you. Nah. And there's so much more. That's just like one little, little morsel of how funny that shit is. There's a, they create a system in that guide that's like a tier list. So there's a graph and it's like a tier list. If you can imagine every character vertically and then every character horizontally and then there's a matchup. Okay, so this is a five, five matchup. This is a nine, one matchup. You could see that, right? They created this concept in this player's guide, except and the, uh, they created their own rules, right? So if it's red, that means it's a bad matchup. If it's green, that means it's a good matchup. But they themselves have all these fuck-ups all over it. And the guy who's doing the review, he's like, okay, okay, this is a 5-5 five, five matchup, but why the fuck is it green? There's like all these fuck-ups. Like, this is a bad matchup that's green. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good matchup that's red. What the fuck does that mean? The thing is so funny, dude. Limited edition hardback. Sealed. Sealed. Who's the British guy? I don't remember his name. But you could probably Google this video. I bet it's still on, on there. Kawaru, that's him. Yeah, Kawaru. Mm, anyway, it was pretty funny. He sets that shit on fire and starts talking about Scorpion. <laughs> At the end, he sets the fucking player's guide on fire and starts, Scorpion knows. He knows about the flimes. He's talking all this shit. That was such a good review, man. That was like 11 years ago. Oh, my God.